Hi, everybody. It's Lisa from Coffee Talk. I'm here with my friend, Adi. And Adi is an incredible musician. I want to hear all about how you uh, started in this business and why your music is so different and special than any other. Hi, nice to be talking with you, Lisa. Um, yeah, uh, my name is Aditya Prakash, and I grew up in a family full of music. My mom's an Indian classical dancer, my sister's a dancer. So growing up, I would be around Indian classical music all the time, and musicians would be at my house. Um, Ravi Shankar would be at, be at our house. His son used to play with my mom's, uh, her, my mom's dance ensemble. And so I was around musicians and music my whole life, so it was ingrained in me. So at age eight, I had started learning classes, and by 12, I was performing concerts. And this is Indian classical music, so it's the traditional format. And then um, I started touring with Pandit Ravi Shankar at age 16, 16, 17, 18. And he's the one who really inspired me to do music full time. Otherwise, I would probably be an engineer. Like, I was, my father was an engineer. I was thinking, okay, I'd, I'd do the same thing. But um, being with Ravi G really inspired me. Um, he, the way he toured pr so professionally, he brought Indian classical music to Carnegie Hall, Hollywood Bowl, Disney Hall, these places that I've dreamed of. And I got to perform with him. And that was really the inspiring force behind my doing music full time. And he's the one who, he told me I need to, he actually told me not to go to college. He said, don't even worry about college, go straight to music. You have the talent, uh, don't waste any time. But I unfortunately went to college. <laughs> I, I, I mean, no, it was a great experience. I went to UCLA, I did an ethnomusicology degree. And that's where I met a lot of jazz musicians and I started collaborating Indian classical with jazz, hip hop, funk, and different, many different styles. And I started my own band called the Aditya Prakash Ensemble. Uh -huh. And so we've been, we toured India recently, a couple of months ago, and we got great reviews and we're hopefully going to be touring more in India next year. And uh, so it continues, I continue to do collaborative work with Indian classical music and I continue to do my traditional Carnatic South Indian classical concerts as well. Um, and it's, I'm, I'm on the beginning of my journey and I hope uh, it continues to grow. I'm an Indian born American and I grew my my parents are very traditional they I mean my mom has been in the Indian classical arts since she was a kid and they instilled that value in me at, at a young age but I grew up in like a, I was like a normal American kid I I would hear rap music hip-hop music so my music identity now is a mix of all those things and I think that's how the world is turning out now because everyone's hearing information is so rapid we're hearing so many different things every day and so our, our influence is not just strict to boundaries, it's open to everything. And I think a more inclusive nature is the nature of the world. Vaidya Mishra has been telling me, he says, this is what I'm meant to do. And I, I'm just doing what I, what I feel I love and what comes to me naturally. And if it is what I'm supposed to do, I'm grateful. Um, and I, I love sharing my music and I love sharing the poetry of these great spiritual masters like uh, Mirabai, Saint Kabir. Uh, their poetry has really moved me spiritually and, and helped me understand myself and my life better. And I want to share their lyrics through music and that's why I'm, I do this. On my website is www.akpmusic, it's my initials, akpmusic.com. Um, and you can find out about our tour dates, our upcoming dates, um, our new videos, our new releases. And you can find my ensemble. It's called Aditya Prakash Ensemble. Um, you can, we're on iTunes. Um, you can just look us up on YouTube. We have videos out. Um, and I hope you can check out our music. It's uh, definitely different, unique, um, and I'm sure you'll like it. <laughs>